What up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay Najee, back in the building, and we are here with another banger. We are getting into this fine lover, Pop the Balloon with Arlette. She got the woman's lineup today. It was the men last time. She brought a whole bunch of people from the other season, like, which is cool. Other episodes, I mean, which is cool. Um, So I wonder, did she bring back any other people who didn't find matches for real? But it's only one way to find out. You know, see if anybody had any viral moments this episode. You know how they get down, so let's jump into it for real. I don't like this outfit already. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. The wig is giving Party City. The pants is giving aluminum. I don't like the shoes. Uh, the shirt is cool. And you know Arlette gonna step every time, so what do I have to say about Arlette? This outfit does not give the occasion. Straight off a sheen. Oh, I don't like this dress either. It's not even a dress that I don't like. It's just not flattering for her body. Um, this is okay. I don't hate this. Uh, I don't like this. I don't know what it is. Is it the boots? Is it the dress? Might be a combination of both, actually. Um, but I do like Arlette. Arlette be putting it on. I ain't gonna lie. Our leg gonna do it every time, so no complaints here. Wig right, shoes right. See, this not bad. This is okay. I like this. Okay. Okay. I... It might be the wig. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if. Mm. I hate to say I don't know y'all, but I, I truly don't. It's the dress. And the sandals, heel sandals. I don't know what these are. Heels and sandals at the same time. I don't know. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Hey, it's Arlette. your host, Arlette, and we are here with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. <laughs> I think Arlette should dress yes. the ladies. So we're going to be bringing out some single men. Or, or, hear me out. They get their outfits approved by Arlette before they come on the show. Like, I'm pretty sure on other TV shows, like Karamo and stuff, I don't think that be their outfits all the time. Like, I'm pretty sure when they go on the show, like, they get their outfits pre-approved or something or, or picked out. I don't know, but I think that if Arlette did it, it would hit different. Men, when they come around this corner one by one, if he's your type, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything that he says that you're not really feeling, whatever it is, red flags, I don't know, go ahead and pop your balloon. And then I'll go over to a few of you and see why you ended up popping. Are we ready? Yes. Oh, yeah. You guys sound like a little choir. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name oh is Jay. Oh my God, Jay? Faye Mohawk. How old are we with a Faye Mohawk? It's, yeah, no, that's not cute. You too old for a Faye Mohawk. The outfit is cool, but you lost me at the designer shoes. I don't care if it's designer. I don't care if it's Jordan. I don't care if it's Adidas. I don't care what shoe you got on. Just because it has a silent name brand does not make it cute. Standing on BS. Jay. Jay, okay. Jay, how old are you? 47. And Jay, you're you 47 with I'm a fade mohawk? I'm the founder mohawk? and CEO of Smartly Technologies. We bring uh, technologies to life. One of the best uh, inventions that we've done is the smart business card. That's basically you tap somebody's phone. Mm -hmm. All the information comes into it right off bat oh, in seconds. That. We also do uh, services on Instagram and TikTok. The bio link mm -hmm. that's in your um, Instagram. That basically is LadyLink.com and SmartBizCard.com. Okay, yeah. very nice. Okay, and Jay, what do you like to do for fun? Basically, I like to do for fun is travel and see new experiences, new places, mm -hmm. um, things of that nature. Okay. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? A woman of God, first off. Period. A woman that is um, confident, that she understands who she is as a person. Mm -hmm. She's also goal-oriented. Go okay. And, as well as um, understanding where she wants to go in life. Got it. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Hey, yo, deal why Shorty Pop? She don't got no goals. She not goal-oriented. She don't know what's for the future. 40, 50, 60, whatever. Like, 
You don't know what's next for you? That's crazy. Deal Breakers is uh, not confident, not ambitious. Okay. Okay, got wow. it. So we did get um, wow. a few pop balloons. Sure. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Let's start over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Katrina, and I'm 46. And Katrina, what do you do? I'm a travel nurse. Katrina. Okay, Katrina. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon because he's not my type. I don't like mm -hmm. the haircut. It's kind of not my thing. No worries. Um, yeah. too much. You know what, though? He got too much Beijing on the haircut, for one. I don't like this. I don't know. I, it's just, I feel him when she say that. But I guess I could respect the fact that they waited until he was done talking before they popped their balloons. I, I could respect that. But this haircut at, at your big grown age, 47, a mohawk with a fade on the side with extra Beijing is crazy. So the facial hair is just not my type. But I, I like the that. answers. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he got and good answers. Is she someone though. that's your type? Yeah, she's definitely beautiful. Her Thank fitted you. looks nice. It's great. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go on to our next lady over here. Your name mm -hmm. and age. Hi, I am Kiki, and I am 52. And Kiki, what do you do? Whoa. I am in healthcare administration. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? It's kind of cliche. It's a little sad, but only because of the shoes. Mm -hmm. Like, I like the signature, obviously. But it was like the shoes. Yeah, I don't like them. Like really? Moon boots. Gucci? You know, she ain't lying. I don't know if it's moon boots or subway surfer. Like, them boots giving slide left, right, collect the coin. Like, I don't know. They just big and big and small at the same time. I don't like the shoes either. Like, she she just not lying. But that no, wig, though. It? No, it wasn't that it was mm -hmm. Gucci. It was more that it was just shoes. They're I not like the cute. shirt. I like the fit, but... Uh, you like sound like shoes. the shoes. Yeah, they're not too. That. You think they're too like bulky? Or? Yeah, yeah. Give they're a actually a little too bulky for me. <laughs> he could change it though. He could change his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but he seems like a great guy. He got Gucci yeah, socks on too. <laughs> okay. Definitely understand that. All right, now is she someone that's your type? She's okay. okay. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the you know, you know, pants that she's got on. But I mean the the Louis uh, top is tight. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Go for that. I see y'all with the designer yeah, the pants. Don't go with the shirt for real. <laughs> Match and fly, yeah. even though we're opposing. Yeah, you know no worries. He's Gucci, no I'm worries. Louis. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. yeah. Thank you. And then we did get one down here. If we can have your name and age. Um, my name's Kathleen, and I'm 40. Okay. And Kathleen, what do you do? I'm a medical support associate. Okay. Kathleen, nice. and why did you end up popping me? your balloon? I don't have a physical attraction for him, so I didn't want, I don't like faking the funk, so. Got it. Okay. And what is but, it? Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just not my type. Okay. Like, so what is your type? Um, Ooh, Arlette. He's he does have messy. a kind of nice build, but <laughs> I don't want to be mean. He's just not my type. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Jay, is she someone that's your type? Um, she's beautiful. She's well put together. She probably would be. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. It's going over here. Like your name dress, and age. I'm Tina, beautiful. and I'm 42. And Tina, what do you do? I am. I work in administration and in accounting. Okay. okay. Nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon because I don't want to seem vain, okay. but I'm not attracted to him at all. And for me, attraction comes first. Otherwise, it's kind of like a shutdown. I yeah. see. Yeah. Okay. I respect no that. And now, same thing here. Is she someone that's your type? Not really. Just her, uh, your, her fit that she's got on with the actual uh, flowers. I mean, I, I thought she could have wore something that complemented her complexion. Didn't think that that really did it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah, I agree with him. Or something more mature. Here. So we can have know. your name and age. Hi, I'm Janice. I'm 40. And Janice, what do you do? I'm a neurotrauma and CV ICU nurse. I'm okay, also Janice. a business owner, a entrepreneur, and a um, real estate investor. Wow. Yes. Busy. Yes. <laughs> here are you, Janice. All right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, for me, it's mainly the height. Okay. Like, I like someone that I can look up to mm. in multiple facets. I love your career though. It sounds like you're really like going somewhere in Thank this you. life, no, but yeah, for me, it was mainly the height. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Got it. And I was, uh, she's someone that's your type? Yeah, she's very beautiful. Thank you. Um, well put together. 
I mean, a little taller, Tall, right? Yeah. So I probably wouldn't go for her. But other than that, she's beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. All right. We got to pop back here. Too. Your name and age. My name is Risa, and I'm 43. I just turned 43. Oh, happy birthday. Not <laughs> Risa, what do you do? I do hair, and I go to school full time. Okay. Nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? He said, uh, well, I'm taller than she is, and I have on flats, so, I'm, you know, I'm a little bit, I know I'm tall, so okay. I just want to make sure we're okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so now, I know you said the height thing, but yeah. is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she, once again, she's beautiful. She's just a little too taller okay. than yeah. I would like, actually. It's okay. How tall are you, by the way? I'm six one. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah I'm five eleven, so yeah. that yeah. kind of makes sense. Yeah. I get it. I understand completely. <laughs> yeah. I do. Now, before he did say the height thing, you didn't pop your balloon. So is height not a problem for you? No, it's not. How did, wow. Height isn't a problem for me. I think sometimes men kind of. Well, I can't say. You know, whatever. Sometimes men make it a problem. Sometimes women make it a problem. But I'm more so concerned about what's in here. I yeah. know oh, that's and definitely right. What's Period. Up in here. That's <laughs> Right. Thank, you. Thank you. And then we did get a pop down there. Let's head on over. Your name and age? Yes, my name is Regina. I'm 37. And Regina, what do you do? I'm in pharma. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Okay. Um, he's a beautiful guy, just not for me. Yeah. Okay. But why though? That's that's it. Yeah. Nothing else. But what's, why isn't yeah. he for you? And now, is she someone that's your type? She's beautiful, Thank well you. put together, right height. So, yeah, we'll talk to her. Thank you. For sure. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Let's head on back. Oh, okay. We've got one unpopped balloon over here. Let's head on over. Oh, are you, were you about to pop? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> she said, um. All right. Let's start with your name and age. Um, my name is Phoenix. I'm 48. And Phoenix, what do you do? I'm an author. Awesome. Oh, you write books? Thank okay. You. So you have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Um, I liked what he had to say. Um, he looks like a man of fashion, well-versed, traveled. Um, I was curious about your question. You said you want a woman of God. What does that look like? Sure. A woman that believes in Jesus, a woman that has a relationship with Christ, a woman that understands how to carry herself in that regard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that. That's my definition of a woman of God. It has a relationship with Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to pop. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? Why? It's only because um, I do believe in God. However, I don't specifically believe in a, a religion, so to speak. So it's yeah. more or less but did he say that? my relationship with God. And I believe there's truths in all religions. So That's respect. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But okay. yeah, you look like a, a man of fashion. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. All right. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she's very beautiful, well put together. Uh, once again, uh, same height, not same height, but a little <laughs> right there with the, with the hills, with a good height, you know. Uh, definitely with uh, approach. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped. We right. do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. I'll take this mic. This thank bunch you. was very respectful. <laughs> Let's get into the next guy. Oh, not the. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello. Welcome in. Okay, What's your name? Box. Events. What was that? Events. Events? Yes. Wait okay. How old are you? I'm 42. The collar is throwing me. Flip it down. Flip the collar. And the shirt look maybe the shirt ain't that small and he just got a small physique. But um he cool. He might be short. And though. what do you do? I'm a cardiac nurse and a real estate investor. Very wow. cool. Uh what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh I like fine dining. I like uh going to NBA games. Okay. Okay. And uh I like go karting. Mm. Okay, cool. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, she just got to be cute and peaceful <laughs> and a good person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, bad hygiene. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and we did get a pop balloon. Let's head on over there. Okay, let's actually start here. Cool pop. All right, let's have your name and age. My name is Phoenix Lemon, and I'm 48. And Phoenix, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because he said he wanted somebody cute. I don't really see myself as being cute. I see myself more demure, glamorous. 
Wait a um, second. Okay. <laughs> she said she see herself more demure, glamorous. Cause I I don't think we're using this correctly. Reserved, modest, and shy. A modest appearance. Okay. <laughs> All right. So is she cute to you? I think she's cute. Thank you. You look nice and thank you. Pleasure right. to meet you. Nice. Okay. So is she, is she someone that's your type? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And we did get a pop over here as well. Your name and age? My name is Kathleen and I'm 40. And Kathleen, why'd you end up popping your balloon? I popped because um, it seemed like I would like eat you up. In the sense that, like, I'll be more dominant and, like, you won't just be as dominant. Like, wow. you'll let me take charge too much. So, he seemed that's the vibe I'm getting. Huh? False. That's false. Okay. But, okay. Is it is it because he seems, like, shy or yeah. what? Oh. Okay. I'm good at, I'm good at energy. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Big dog. Energy. Now, is Kathleen someone that's your type? No. Okay, and why not? Uh, I, don't, I ain't feeling the uh, nose ring. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and then we did get a pop back over here. Your name and age? I'm Katrina and I'm 46. And Katrina, why'd you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon because of the fit. I'm not really feeling the shoes um, and the pants, but love the career, love everything you said. It's just the fashion wasn't for me. Yeah, he got grandpa lo so. loafers on. Now is Katrina someone that's your type? Yeah, she is. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's we head on back this outfit, way. Though, so. And there are five ladies remaining. Go ahead and ask these remaining ladies a question. Uh, what do you believe is your ultimate goal in life? Okay, what is your ultimate goal in life? Let's start with your name and age first. My name is Risa and I just turned 43 years old. My ultimate goal in life is I hate to say it. No, I don't. You know what? I'm actually proud. I love people. Um, my talent is hair, but my passion is people. And right now I go to school for um, behavioral health and I take that extremely serious. And um, I'm really on a path to uh, really understand the psyche of our mental framework. Um, within the black community for men and women and also our children. Um, I grew up in foster care, so that's my heart and that's my passion. So I want to make sure that we learn how to navigate this tough world and mm -hmm. that we find support within each other instead of tearing each other down. So that's right. my thing. Yeah. Cool. Right, sit down. We'll be back. Yeah, we pop. answer. All right. Your name and age and... It was, what's your passion in life? What's your ultimate goal in life? Oh, what do you ultimate. believe is your ultimate goal in life? I'm Kiki. I'm 52 years old. And my ultimate goal is I have a dream of retiring early. And okay. uh, I do investments. I have some properties. And I'd like to do some um, entrepreneurship and just travel the world, have a uh, confident uh, companion, and someone who is on the same page as I am um, as far as meeting those goals. I'm a Virgo, so I'm like very driven. And um, I like what I like and I get what I want. All right. <laughs> here he is. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age and the answer to this question. My name is Regina. I'm 37. Um, you said. What is your ultimate goal in life? What do you believe is your ultimate yeah. purpose in life or, or goal? Yes, sir. I say pursuit of happiness. So with that being said, um, I do believe in um, world peace. And not only that, um, I do believe in serving my purpose. What God has for me is for me. Okay. Um, I do believe that, um, when it's for me, it's for me. So yeah, but pursuit of happiness. Yeah. Yeah. And our last lady, your name and age and what is your ultimate goal? I'm Tina and I'm 42. And I honestly believe that my ultimate goal in life is to be a safe space for women, 
um, especially women who have mental health issues, um, those who have no family or friends to turn to and just need that opportunity and that space to be able to express themselves. I also want to lead that into teens as well. Um, because our teens need that as well. And then I also want to lead that into men because men need that safe space as well because they're always told to be hard, you know, not to cry, you know, not to show that emotion. And I want to give that space to men to be able to show that and to be able to express themselves and feel free in their mental illness and to know that someone is there for them. So I definitely believe that that's my purpose. Absolutely. Thank you. Welcome. Now we did get a popped balloon. Your name and age and why'd you end up popping? Hi, I'm Janice, I'm 40. Um, I ended up popping just because of the height situation. I feel like you're very attractive. I love your skin tone, I love your dress. I think you're well put together. Yeah, and we have similar um, fields that we're in. So okay. yeah, but it was just a height for me. All right, cool. Yes. Right. Now is uh, Janice someone that's your type? Uh, she is, but I agree with the height. The height. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but realistically, how, how many men are gonna I'm be five, taller eight. than her? Five eight. I'm five seven and a half without heels. Oh, oh, so okay. yeah, okay, and I love my heels. So yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> but that's it. I think you're wonderful. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you. Thanks. And we did get a pop back here. Why do we end up popping? I'm tall. I'm six one, and I don't have on heels. And I understand. I get it. It's okay. Right. So. You had an issue with her. He gonna yeah. have an issue with you too. I think you told her she's tall. So she was like, let me just yeah. pop as well, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm taller than her, and I just, yeah. Okay. 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 So is that, is she someone that's your type? No, she's too tall. Too tall, I figured. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's well, at okay. least you're honest. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we do have three remaining ladies. So we had two pops, so I'm just going to have you go ahead and ask them another question. What's nine plus nine times nine? Nine plus nine times nine. Yes. Okay. Nine plus nine times, times nine. Ninety. Nine. Like. Okay. Oh no! Damn, you ain't even try. <laughs> like I didn't expect that, but I respect that. Like I don't, I don't really, I didn't it's even cool. really hear it, what you it, said it, or what it's you. All right. It's all I'm right. sorry, sweet. It's all right. But, uh, like, I didn't hear what, what? So it was nine plus nine times nine. Lord, have mercy. I mean, like. I get it. It's, it, it's all good. Okay. You ain't, you ain't. <laughs> right. So now, apart from that question, though, is he someone that's your type? Actually, no. But I wanted to step outside my comfort zone. I didn't want to seem shallow. Mm. Right. But I don't do dreadheads. That is but shallow. But he's very well put together. And the height isn't an issue because I'm wearing heels. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to hear more. Because okay. like, I didn't know if he had kids, because that's a deal breaker. Mm. Young kids. So, you okay. know. Got it. <laughs> right. But right now, I'm just not, I'm, yeah. <laughs> now, is she someone that's your type? Not really. Okay, why not? Uh, I, don't, I don't like the teeth, to be honest. Okay. It's different. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I never heard that, but yeah, okay. Right. I appreciate that. Thank you. And then we did get a pop over here. Okay, why did we end up popping? Team no, he's hand this color. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I popped. I think I, there was a math problem. Yes. <laughs> but you know, you could have gave it a try. No, I did in my mind. I did give it a try. <laughs> Oh my God, I look like an idiot. But I did give it a try. No, seriously, I did. You said nine times nine? It's nine, 81. Nine plus, plus nine. Nine, 90. Times nine. Oh my Lord. So you got 81. Yeah, 81. Okay. Let me it, please. <laughs> so you, the math question, you eliminate yourself, but maybe that wasn't a deal breaker for him. We don't know. Well, I do know how to deposit. Let me say that. Okay. Period. <laughs> I know how to deposit. Hello. Um, but yeah, he's an attractive guy. Okay. That was a I random question, time, though. But yeah, he's an attractive guy. Okay. Nothing negative towards him. So you didn't really want to pop? No, I didn't. But okay. he, yeah. Hmm. No, 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 no. Let's, let, let's ask though. But is she someone that's your type? Not really. Okay, and why not? <laughs> Tell me, ah, uh, hello. 
That's a bad problem. Probably. <laughs> I don't like the t I don't like her teeth. My oh. teeth? Yeah. Did, what's wrong with my teeth? Hold up. Dr. Robinson, these are natural. I appreciate that. Uh-huh. What's wrong with them? Oh, what his Lord. teeth look like? She's asking, not yeah, me. Yeah, I want to know. <laughs> need some flossing, I think. Oh, I'm flossing. Not, I, 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 okay, y'all heard that. I only said it because you asked me about it. Yeah, none, nothing wrong with it, but thank you. Okay, flossing, you guys. <laughs> Let's go. And I Maybe she got food twice, in her teeth. Three know. times. Okay. Right, Hello, sure. no built up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I just can't. I can't. Thank you. Let's go on over here. All right, nine plus nine. Know. Times nine. Yes. Okay, so I am so not good in math at all, but I think the answer is 162. I don't know if that's Whoa. right. It ain't right, but I, you tried. Okay, I tried. tried. At least, at least I'm not tried. good at math at all. Oh, so, so nine I times tried. nine, 81 plus nine. I thought he said nine, nine plus nine. Yeah. Yes. And then he said, so nine plus nine is times nine. So PEMDAS, you got to do multiplication first and then addition. That's why I said I'm not. That's why I said I'm not good at math. How? Like, that's why I said I'm not. But I tried. But, I but, tried. You know, the reason I asked that because I want to see how far can you think. You know, like there needs to be some kind of critical mm -hmm. thinking. Right. And if you know, that's why I, I did asked try. That, so. <laughs> I knew it probably wasn't right, but I did try. All right. So. <laughs> Now, you still have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Um, I like his demeanor. Um, I like the profession that he's in. He seems like he's well-educated. Um, he speaks very well. Um, I don't think that there would be an issue with the height. I got heels on, I'm only 5'6", <laughs> so I'm not that tall. Um, and he's nice looking. I like the smile. Um, so yeah, I, I, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like what he's got going on. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> Now, you know, I got to flip it on over to you. Is she someone that's your type? Nah, I don't, I don't like the teeth and I don't like the eyelashes. <laughs> okay, and I'm not the only one with eyelashes, yeah, but okay. Yeah, yeah. And ain't nothing wrong with my teeth, baby. I stay at the dentist. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all I good. I stay at the dentist, sweetie. I promise okay. you I do. <laughs> so it's going to be a pop over here then? Yeah. Okay. He is not a piggy. Pop. Ah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Let's head on back. What are you looking for? Veneers? Well, that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Hey, my name's Darnell. Darnell, how old are you? I'm 47. Okay. And now, uh, Darnell, what do you lit? do? But before I get started, let me take my glasses off so the ladies could see my eyes. Right, right. We don't need no I pops on that. <laughs> okay. Okay. What I do is I'm a, a military veteran. Nice. Thank um, you for your service. And a paratrooper airborne. So I went from serving my country to now I do landscaping. So serving the community, making yards look beautiful. Okay. I enjoy doing that. Nice. <laughs> now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Oh, man, what do I like to do for fun? I'm a really simple guy. Okay. Um, I enjoy simple things. Um, first of all, waking up every morning mm. is fun for me because somebody didn't wake up this morning. Right. We don't want to take life for granted. So mm. I know that's right. I always start my day off with a freshly brewed cup of coffee. Okay. That, I enjoy that. <laughs> I have a Doberman. He's a dog. His name is Cruz. He's a, do uh, a European Doberman. I like taking him downtown for walks and, you know, just enjoying the view. I like going to restaurants. I enjoy working out. Mm -hmm. So from the smallest things to the biggest things, and I like to travel. Okay. All right. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Things I look for a woman. A woman that is feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. Mm -hmm. A woman that I could come home to and she's my peace. A woman that values a relationship just as much as I value a relationship. Okay. Um, I want a woman that would invest in me like I would invest in her. Mm -hmm. You know, I want our investment to be more powerful than the SP 500. <laughs> I want our investment to be more powerful than Warren Buffett's best stock. That's what I want. I want a woman that's going to invest in me. And I promise ladies, if I get the opportunity, I will invest in y'all too. Mm. Whoever's for me. All right. Now what are some I deal like breakers? That. Some deal breakers. Uh, well, there was a commercial back in the day, the Marlboro man is to smoke. 
You know? okay. So I don't want a Marlboro woman. I don't want a Newport woman. I don't want a Virginia Slims woman. I want, uh, so smoking cigarettes, I don't want the house smelling like cigarettes or my car smelling like cigarettes. Okay. So that's something that I don't want. Mm -hmm. They smoke weed, uh, whatever, people do that. <laughs> don't really care about that. But the cigarettes, yeah. I want a woman that has emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. I think that's very important. I don't want a woman that owns a, I think colorful here, so Miami ladies, a emotional time machine. What do I mean by that? If we get over something, we have an argument, but we talk it through, I want us to move on. I don't want it to be like two weeks, three weeks later, we're back there. We win the time machine. I don't want to do that. So a woman that has emotional intelligence. And, you know, as long as they don't have more red flags in the Chinese parade, I'm good. All right. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> okay, so we did get a few pops. That's okay. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Let's start here with your name yes, and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Katrina and I'm 46. Hey, Katrina, how, how you, you doing? doing? Good. I love your energy. You are just so bubbly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I love it. But you're just too big for me. Okay. But other than that, I love the energy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Now, is Katrina someone that's your type? Oh, absolutely. If I was in the grocery store, you would catch my eye. <laughs> I mean, you would. I'll, I'll take a second you. look. So by that initial, yeah, you're, you're absolutely my type. Thank you. Thank you. We got another. Oh, okay, right here. That was a quiet pop. <laughs> All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Janice. I'm 40. Uh, I ended up, hi. Uh, I ended up popping my balloon. I do like your energy. I think you're very vibrant. Um, but for me, you have maybe a little bit too much energy because I can mm -hmm. be vibrant as well. And then it just might be too much. So I prefer somebody that's a bit calmer. Okay. And um, that can also calm my energy down. Mark, sometimes level you I out. can go real hard. Um, not in a bad way. I just, you know, oh. I have a lot of energy as well. Yes, um, and also, I do like my guys just a little bit more slimmer. Okay. And but that's that's about it. I think you are. You have a very like beautiful smile, thank and you. yeah, you're very pleasant to be around. But oh, yeah, it just you. might be competing energy. Thank <laughs> that's you. about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right. Now she's someone that's your type. Well, to be as transparent as my coffee pot. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, she would be my type. Um, and I'm not just saying that, you know, to say it, but if I was, again, if I was at the gas station, I saw you pumping gas, I would notice you. So Would you yeah. pump my gas for me? Hey, hey, if I was your man, I would. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh, I told you. Fair enough. <laughs> 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 All right, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. We got another pop over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Phoenix Lemon. I'm 48, and thank you for your service. Um, I popped my balloon because of the Doberman. I'm not an animal. Like dogs. I got mm. allergies and mm. tried it before. And that, but everything you said, the values, the belief system, I agree with wholeheartedly, and you look very, very nice. Oh, thank you so much. Mm, thank you. <laughs> All right, now, is Phoenix someone that's your type? She's, um, she's attractive, so. Yes, I know I sound like a dead horse, but she's attractive, and um, I would definitely approach you, be like, hey, my name's Darnell, how are you, how are you? And I would, you know, I would try, so yes, absolutely. And she has a, you have a good energy about you. Thank you. You really do, so thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, we got one more down here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Kathleen and I'm 40. Hi. Um, I ended up popping because like you're not really my type. You're bubbly. Your energy is everything. And like, it's just I don't feel anything for you. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Now, is Kathleen mm -hmm. someone that's your type? Um, no, she's not really my type um, as far as just initial attraction. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she seems like the... You know, just how she answered the question. She wasn't disrespectful, and she seems like she's a quality woman, but she's just not my type. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. It's kind of like it's kind of like this. You know how we drive cars. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like a Mercedes, some people like a Lexus. The Mercedes is beautiful, but I prefer a Lexus. Mm -hmm. So that's how it is. Okay, you're a Mercedes girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head on back. <laughs> Okay, so we do have four balloons left on Popped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the remaining ladies a question to help you narrow it down. Okay. Part question. How would you describe your childhood, and what is a fond memory that you had of your childhood? Okay. All right. Let's start right over here. What was the pop for? Your name Dang. and age and the answer to this question. Hi, my name is Risa, and I'm 43 years old. Um... 
I was in foster care growing up. Oh, wow. And um, my mom died when I was 10. Sorry to hear that. And she was brutally murdered. And my father just died earlier this year. Wow. Um, gosh, out of all the questions, I wasn't ex I wasn't thinking yeah. to I wasn't expecting to talk about my upbringing. Um, foster care was tough. Um, it didn't. I did eventually find my biological family, and a lot of us live out here now. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota, by the way of Detroit. I was born in Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Um, I love family. We don't always have the best relationship. Um, I'm not always the easiest uh, to get along with because I do have boundaries and I'm getting okay. better with um, enforcing my boundaries. Um, but I am very family oriented. I just get tired of being the one that's kind of always trying to force everyone to get along or, you know, putting my emotions to the back. I love my family dearly. I love them, but um, we're still trying to find our way. But wow. I'm very family oriented and I have a strong community. I have a strong support system. I have a, a huge family on both sides in Detroit, Michigan, in Minneapolis, Detroit, Minnesota, Minnesota, and also in here in Arizona. I love everyone, um, regardless if we get along or not. Uh, but yeah, like it is what it is. You know, you have to take what you're given and roll with it. And um, with my background now that I'm studying behavioral health is because of everything that I grew up in my past. Um, I'm really trying to understand where we're at mentally. So it's helping me deal with certain issues I had growing up. And it's actually helping me find myself and find um, a place where I'm comfortable with addressing certain situations with family members. But it gets tough, but it has to happen. So okay. that's where I'm at. Okay, thank you for sharing that. First of all, I want to say she is so strong for speaking up on her upbringing especially on a platform like this where people joke and click click bait and stuff like that um even though people really come on here to find love like i i can commend her for speaking about her experiences on this platform and being strong enough to express that in this question because she could have simply not answered it um but i wanted to ask y'all like do y'all think that family upbringing is very important like do you think because she grew up a certain way or anybody grew up a certain way that y'all can't mesh or things can't work out if they especially when it's something they can't control like what do y'all think about that like is that important thank you yes, thank you okay let's go down over here your name and age and the answer to this question hi so my name is kiki and i also hail from detroit michigan what up doe period 313 uh, i love that um and That's i him. came from a awesome upbringing i had a two-parent home my father was military or for air force okay shout out to my air force man and uh i being that i had the privilege of coming from a two-parent home I was able to be raised with morals and values and things of that nature. Uh, my mother ran the household. My father was the leader, the provider. So that's what I leaned to. And I had a awesome upbringing. Okay, nice. so like I, I couldn't ask for anything more other than to have a partner who had similar values. My parents always told me to find someone who was equally yoked. Okay. So that is very important to me, and I was excited that you asked that question. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry that I'm pausing again, y'all, but my dad always said that um, your experiences create who you are. So even if you didn't grow up with those two, even if a person didn't ideally grow up with a two-parent household, that doesn't indicate that they can't have the same love as a person who did. Like, it's just, some people go through something and they want to change what they went through for the better, if that makes sense. Like, you could grow up in a household with just one parent and be like, I don't want my kids to grow up in a one-parent household. Even though I'm cool, I want them to even be better and grow up with two, you know? So, I just think that's my perspective on it for real. Like, she say equally yoked. I understand that, but... You can't control your upbringing. You're, when you're a kid, you don't choose where you live, who you live with, your parents. You don't choose none of that stuff. That's not a choice. So at the end of the day, like, even if your partner 
in my opinion, this is my opinion, even if your partner didn't grow up ideally how you did, that don't mean that it won't be equally yoked. I think to me, equally yoked is like same values. You know, like y'all, y'all both respect and, you know, cherish the same things. You may, y'all both serve the same God, like equally yoked. You can't determine how you're raised, bro. Like simple as that. And then we did get two pops down here. Let's start here with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Regina. I'm 37. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, I pop you nice looking. Um, your question, I say it holds value. Um, I do have a decent upbringing, but I did come from foster care. So, but I have went through um, <clears throat> therapy. Yeah, so, okay. yeah. Okay. Right, and then so you, did you pop your balloon because of the question he asked? Right, or? I don't understand. I wouldn't say the question he asked per se, because I'm healed yeah. from my past. I'm 37, right? <laughs> this, you know, 20 some years ago. Okay. But yeah, um, I'm 37, so it wasn't, more so popping my balloon for his question. Mm -hmm. um, not so physically on the initial attraction, let me okay. say that. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So what? It, it took you way too long to get to that. And then on top of that, some, just because you're 37 don't mean you heal from something either. Okay, if you are, um, I'm happy that you are. But at the same time, don't insinuate just because it happened a long time ago that you're good. I'm straight just because it's been 20 some years. Like, why wouldn't I be over there? Because some people take longer than others. Everyone has a different journey as far as healing, so. I, I don't know. So I want to be like the butterflies. And when I first see that person... Okay. And it's like, oh, that's my man, my man, my man. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, but okay. yeah. Okay, got yeah. it. <laughs> now she's someone that's your type. <laughs> I'm gonna say no, and the reason I'm gonna say no, if I had to think about it, then yeah, you know, of but course. but you know, as far as you know what she just said and everything, and and you know your upbringing and whatnot, mm -hmm. you do have a good vibrant energy about thank you. you and you know <laughs> yeah thank i mean you. You, yeah you definitely do yeah god holding me and i'm not gonna lie yeah your feet look good too oh gotta, thank girl, you on, thank hey. you hey, i noticed hey look over a hundred bucks right hey. told, i can say clock that hey, look, good. look good thank you so much sir thank you uh -huh. i really appreciate <laughs> that you know outside the teeth you know all right thank you and then we did get one more back here comment. your name and age and why'd you end up popping your balloon i'm tina and i'm 42 and me popping my balloon had nothing to do with you at all i love your personality um i love the way how you feel how you give the energy you know it's like you feel as though you give me the same energy that i give you you know plus some and i i really like that about you the reason why i popped my balloon was because of the question that question is very deep for me um, mm. because my upbringing, upbringing was not good um, and I had a lot of difficult times in my upbringing even though I did have some great times um, those bad times overshadowed that so wow. that's very deep for me and I feel as though um, it's not something a question it's not a question that I would avoid being in a relationship with someone I would definitely go into that you know because you got to know who you with, you know what I mean? So, but as far as in this setting, that was just a little bit too deep for me for as of right yeah. now, okay. you know, if you can understand that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I understand that. And I accept the premise of how you feel and mm -hmm. your feeling is valid. And I take that and everything and ask if would she be my type? Mm -hmm. um, no, she wouldn't really be my type, but I think that you are gorgeous. Thank you. It's the same thing about the car analogy. <laughs> you know, I might like a Mercedes, you know, and you might be a Mercedes, but I might want a, a, a neon Dodge. Who knows? You know, so, um, so, so yeah. Okay. And I like that red. Oh, but thank you. That pop adds some pop. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate pop. it. Thank you. His personality is so vibrant. Like, he's so up. I don't know how I would deal with somebody who constantly joking. 
I think the only thing that would be a red flag to me for him is when do you get serious, I guess. Like, because overall, he seemed like a, a cool, good guy. Like, I would just be wondering when is he, like, for real. And I understand what she was saying, but I also think she could have said that and not popped her balloon. Like, I think everybody can respect, like, a level of privacy when it comes to something like this. And then you could tell your match those things because to an extent, some stuff maybe you shouldn't say on the internet. Maybe you shouldn't say in a video. Like I could respect that. So if she really liked him, I, I mean, she could have kept her balloon and, you know, said that. I don't see why nobody wouldn't accept that. All right, let's get over. <laughs> <back. laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and ask these ladies another question. Oh man. Okay. Another question, mm -hmm. um, ladies, would you consider yourself a affectionate type woman? I'm a very affectionate type man. Um, I like to hug. If I'm driving the car, my left hand may be on the steering wheel. My right hand might be rubbing your legs. Let's say you're in the kitchen. I might reach up behind you, give you a kiss on the neck. Or hell, you might walk and might slap your ass. You know, that's my woman. <laughs> so, you know, are you a affectionate type that was wild. woman? Okay, let's we'll start there. Like, it wasn't wild, but... Yeah, I don't know. Hi, thank you for that question. Not only am I affectionate, I am spontaneous. So that is a deal breaker for me. I want you to touch me, grab me, love me, hug oh, me. Period. All the above. <laughs> like you, you got to keep your hands said. on me or else, you know what I'm saying, somebody else will. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> period. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> or less that'll do it <laughs> all right what about over here i'm a i'm a very affectionate woman um i am very touchy philly if you're my person if you're not my person no okay. not at all and i have uh I don't know, like, I don't want to say that I'm like, er, you know, but I'm like, back out of my space. Is she saying that you got to be locked in? Like, she want to be locked in before she do something like that? Because if so, like, I guess I can understand for sure. Ace, if you're not my person, you're not my person, and you're not my person. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what made you say he's that not was your a lot. person? I'm just yeah. not feeling the whole, like, I don't know. Okay. Not to say that, you know, I just, I don't know. Just not, like, right now. Mm -hmm. But you're an awesome guy. You're handsome. Thank you. You're clean cut. You're put together. I love your personality. Um, yeah, this is all new, so. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> what okay. was all it? Right, no problem. Thanks. Let me have you scoot on that way, scoot on over. Let me have you come on up here. We're going to ask more questions up here. Okay. See if this is a match. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Mom. Any questions between the two of you? I do. I have a question. Do you have any kids and how many? I don't have any kids. I just have a dog. <laughs> all right well that's it period what? do you have kids reverse okay. uno are you good any questions on your end reverse the question well she probably wouldn't be a match for me okay um and the reason why she wouldn't be a match for me is it's funny i love her response and her personality and it seemed like we jive a lot like as far as like kendrick spirits yeah. and everything like that but i have to have a initial attraction. I only get one woman in my life. Absolutely. So I got to make wow. sure the woman that I'm with, I'm Gucci. So, you know, right. that's that's the reason why and, you know, but other than that, you know, that's that's why. Okay. That's fine. Oh, oh that's, that's that's perfect. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll head back over there. Thank, Thank you. Oh. oh, that was sweet. <laughs> oh, that like her horse. Oh, my God. He's a Leo. We would have never <laughs> That's crazy. All right. The well, that is, is all the balloons popped, unfortunately. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. I'll take the mic. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> he was still sweet, though. I wonder who he liked initially. Like, what made him say all that? All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Billy. Billy, how old are you? I'm 40. And what do you do? Mm. I'm a librarian. Oh, okay. And I'm a, I'm a manager of a library in Las Vegas. Um, I think it's the initial attraction. I think that's why they popped. 
It's not even his his outfit not bad or anything. He kind of got a dad bod, which is cool too. You like a you know ain't nothing wrong with a little comfort. You know, comfort is cool. But I think they probably pop because of initial attraction, and maybe the haircut. Like it's it's not. I don't know how to explain his haircut, but something about the haircut. It's not it's not haircutting. We do a lot of great things for the community, okay. mobile showers, um, and I got a kid show on YouTube, Storytime Adventures with Mr. Billy, where we help kids develop a lifelong love of reading through uh, Storytime. Nice. Kind of like Blue's Clues and Reading Rainbow. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? I love to cook. Mm. I'm a country boy. Um, I love to uh, work on new skills. I'm always learning something. I love to read. Obviously, I'm mm -hmm. a librarian. Right. <laughs> I love to travel, uh, try out different restaurants. Um, pretty spontaneous, open-minded. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, negative people. I'm big on positive energy, um, someone that's not punctual, okay. and someone that doesn't practice empathy. Okay. And I feel like I skipped a question. What do you look for in a woman? <laughs> I'm looking for a life partner. Uh -huh. um, I'm looking for someone that uh, shares the passion for life, someone to build a strong connection with. And uh, you got to be funny. And I like to laugh, okay. enjoy life, and um, just looking for someone to build with. All right, cool. All right, so we did get some pop balloons. Let's yes. go on over there and see why they ended All up right. popping. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Katrina and I'm 46. How you doing? How you doing? I'm pretty good. Um, I like your answers, but respectfully, if I seen you, I would not look at you. You're not my type. Like, uh -huh. I mean, as far as... The sedating thing, your outfit is not something that I would talk to somebody going on a date. Um, just the whole appearance is just not my type. Okay. okay. Got it. Now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she's cool. Yeah, she got it going on. Thank uh, you. Like an aura, good, good energy. Thank Take you. care of her skin. Thank I like you. to, yeah. Thank you. It's going over here. Your name and age and why right. you end up popping no, your balloon. Like Hi, shoes. I'm Janice. I'm 40. Um, I pop my balloon because I just don't feel an attraction. Like, you're not my type mm -hmm. in, in any way. Okay. So, yeah. Dang, that was okay. It. Mm -hmm. Got it. Now, is she someone that's your type? Um, Yes. Yeah, it's very pretty. Uh, I like Thank her you. smile. Thank you. Uh, yeah, she's tall, a little sexy thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age and why you end up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Kiki. I'm 52 years old, and it was just the initial attraction. I love his energy, love what he does for a living and everything, but it was just the initial attraction just yeah. wasn't there for me. Okay, got it. Yeah. Same thing here. Is she your type? Uh, no. Okay. Um, respectfully, um, you seem very elegant, uh, I could tell. I'm big on just reading energy, um, just initial attraction as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? Hi, Billy. My name is Phoenix Lemon. I popped my balloon because you said you live in Vegas. I don't do long distance relationships, but you got really pretty eyes. And no, thank you. you can always change the outer appearance, you know, so. But yeah, thank you. Nice. Thank and I love to read too, so nice meeting you. I love you. it. I love it. <laughs> yes. Right. Right. Now, now speaking of someone that's your type. Very true. beautiful. You know, you see the blue eyes. Ah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the setup. You know, you got it going on. You're looking like a rock star. Right. But um, I understand that. I respect that. But uh, yeah. I really gorgeous. like her outfit. Thank she you. is pretty, thank though. You. Let's go on over her here. Teeth. Your name Sorry. and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? Hi, my name is Kathleen, and I'm 40. Um, I end up popping because I'm not, I don't feel attracted to you. Mm -hmm. And I also feel like I probably eat you up. So um, I lay back on that. Like, yeah. In what What's way? up with these terms? Every way. Oh. Don't ask that. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm extremely intellectual and mm -hmm. um, I'm passionate about a lot of things. And I like speaking about a lot of things. You're really, you're, you seem like a brilliant person, but you still, yeah. So I seem like weak, weak in your regards or not? Just curious. Not at, I'm trying to think what to say. Okay. Um, I constantly keep on evolving forward because I, I feel like I'm that way. Yeah, for sure. But some people aren't close to my level yet. And I feel like you're not close to my level yet. So. As far as career wise or what? No. Oh, it's, shit. <laughs> like, everybody not, just calm down. <laughs> no, not career wise. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Everything. I'm, yeah, I'm like, right. yeah. I don't know what she no. mean by that. No, I'm okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm All right, confused. now is Kathleen someone that's your type? Um, no. Okay. 
But um, I like how she carries herself. I like a confident woman. Mm -hmm. She said what she said. I respect it. Okay. You know? All right. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age and why'd you end up popping your balloon? I'm Tina and I'm 42. How you doing? Um, I ended up popping my balloon. Uh, I love the fact that you have a passion for children. Everybody know Tina love the kids. Yeah. I love That's the awesome, kids. Yeah. I really do. So I really love that about you. Um, the initial appearance, I don't like. Um, but hey, everybody like what they like. You do sure. what you, you do what fits you. You feel yeah. me? So, but the initial appearance, I don't like and I'm not attracted to you either. Mm -hmm. So those two things were the reason why I pop my balloon. Okay. Respect. Respect that. <laughs> right. Is she someone that's your type? I would say no. Um, just off initial attraction. Um, I like your spirit. Just Thank listen you. to you talk. Um, just off a first glance, I wouldn't approach. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Then we over here. Your name and age and why you end up popping your balloon. Yes, ma'am. I'm Regina. 37. You're handsome. Thank you. You're welcome. Lord, she nervous. Her was when she said she'll eat you up. It was crazy to me. <laughs> so why you pop on him though? And you didn't have like a valid answer back. <laughs> I guess. What was he supposed to say? But no, it. it what was he supposed to say? Y'all feel like I eat you all the way up. Okay. What? What is he supposed to say? <laughs> What is the response? What 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 was he supposed to respond? That's a dumb that's the dumb reason to pop. That's dumb. That made no sense. Tell the real reason, please. Seriously, um, you're handsome. Thank you. Um, I like your style. Um, I just think maybe a little taller and yeah. So just say but that. Initial attraction. I do feel you. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. You're handsome. Thank you. You're welcome. No, she's someone that's your type? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, very beautiful. Thank you. Eyebrows on fleek. Oh, uh, clear uh, uh, you know, I see it. I see it now. I, I, I see it. I see it. You know what I'm saying? I seen, I seen the toes. Okay. Uh, seen the, uh, Lord uh, Jesus. Yeah. This is the second. Don't y'all zoom in. It. Don't I like the toes. Cameraman messy. Like, like, you know what's happening. So. <laughs> Please don't zoom in on them feet. But no, um, yeah. On the but initially, your attraction, I was attracted. Mm -hmm. But when so she you went, wanted him to have more of like a rebuttal to I, that. Well, no, I think maybe when she said that she'll eat him up, maybe like his response to what she said was more like dominant, if that makes sense. And I think. And I apologize if. Yeah. I kind of overlook because sometimes when you're being publicly, mm -hmm. you know, displayed as a man, yeah. you know, um, you want to be careful with that. So I understand. So Absolutely. you may be reserved a little bit. For sure. Yes, sir. So I do understand that um, as a woman, mm -hmm. but just more dominant, I guess, like an alpha male. Yeah. Well, she said that, and honestly, I just don't go back and forth with women. She said yeah, what she said. Yeah, that's what I and figured. And I asked her specifically in what way. Yeah. Like, you mean career? You know, no, if that's... Career. I'm like, but, what's but, wrong I mean, with what his saying. response? Like, yeah, I didn't know what she meant. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... Yes, sir. And you can't really get a vibe off of that within five yeah. minutes anyway. Yeah. Correct. All right, thank you. Let's you head on um, back. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay maybe so I'm we confused. do have one unpopped balloon. Do you guys have any questions for each other? What's your relationship like with God? I have my own personal relationship with God. I mean, I've had so many blessings in my life that, like, so me and my sister, we've been still since we were little to pray mm. every night. And I'm so thankful for my blessings. Uh, do I go to church every Sunday? No, but I have that personal conversation in the morning and nighttime. Respect. Okay, um, what's your relationship like with your mother? Very tight. Um, my mother's everything. We have a close-knit family from North Carolina. Um, we talk every day. I feel like it's important for a, a black man mm -hmm. to have a relationship with their mother. And uh, I love it. Mm. How many children do you have? I don't have no kids. You don't have any kids? I'm a great uncle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have one more question. Um, and it goes back to spirituality because I'm very um, purposeful on my relationship with God. So where would you lead me? In regards to spirituality? Period. Well, I need to learn you. I mean, that's how we get to know each other, and that's how we build. 
Um, I really, if I'm into you, I want to know everything about you and also support you. And that's a team. So okay, that, so what about spiritually? Spiritually, um, we got to share the same. We got to share the same commonalities. I believe you asked me about my relationship with God. Our, obviously, I feel like we got that, and we go from there. I mean, if you want to go to church, or if we're talking about mindfulness, mental health, whatever you want to do, I'm gonna support you. Okay, I think I'm a little bit more uh, just intent on my relationship with God mm -hmm. and yeah. where my future uh person will leave me with well, not necessarily leave me because i have a strong foundation yeah. and i'm very like secure with that um that's just that's it yeah i love it okay <laughs> all right so, so let me let's go on this way come on up here over here any final questions between the two of you i got one okay that's my was no, 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 that is a good one <laughs> If you could title your life uh, as a book, what would you title it and why? Loyal Lies. And why? Because I'm tired of people lying I and I want to tell the truth. I love it. How much are you willing to tell the truth? Transparency is everything. I ain't got nothing to hide. So when was your last relationship? Three and a half years ago. Why so long ago? Well, I relocated to Las Vegas. You're in um, Las Vegas? Yeah. And the woman didn't want to relocate. I'm willing to do long distance. It don't matter. If I'm feeling you, we're going to get it. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much what happened. Okay. Wow. Why did you break up with your ex? Dang. Um, Hold on. I'm willing to travel. And I think she wasn't willing to do the same. It wasn't reciprocated. So, I mean, what's the point of wasting time? You know, I wanted it to work. But if you're not going to travel, and I'm, I can make it work. I'm the boss. I can travel every other weekend or every weekend if possible. So it just didn't work like that. As far as making time for each other. Okay. Mm, I feel it. All right. Well, she ain't trying to move, you know. <laughs> My final question, is it a yes for you for him? It's not a yes. I don't want to travel. I don't want to go nowhere. Where you live? Oh. I'm here. I'm I'm based here. Oh. That's an hour flight. I'm locked into my schedule and I don't want to go anywhere. What? How are I you? What? I'm sorry. How are you on pop what? You're on pop the balloon where they have singles across the whole USA. You only want to date somebody that's from Arizona. He's stationed in Las Vegas. It's an hour flight. Imagine a drive. That's not far. He's willing to travel. Did he say you? Come on, man. Maybe I'm slow. Maybe I'm not understanding the concept of this show, but you're supposed to find love. Love is not always in your in your state, and it's obvious. And I'm not trying to be funny towards this group of people or nothing, but a lot of these people that you have on this show uh, at the, on this episode is over 30. What you've been doing has not worked, right? It hasn't worked. You're all 30, 40, 50. You're up in age. Try something different. Try something different. Please try something different. I just don't get it. When you're my age, which is, I'm 24. You in your 20s? Maybe get a dating scene a little longer. But I've heard so many people say, I can't find my partner in my hometown. So maybe they find a partner somewhere else. Or letting her husband countries apart and found love. Everybody's person is not going to be at home. They're not at your front door. Obviously obviously you're past 30 and they and you still ain't found who you was looking for but he's not far though like really think about it y'all vegas arizona vegas arizona please y'all please it's it this right here just made me mad it really did and if you don't find a match then what what happens then when you don't find anyone I, I hope you do. I hope everybody get the love that they need. I really do. But you blocking your blessings. All right, thank you. All right. We'll have you head on back over there. Wow. Fortunately, that is all the balloons popped. We do thank you for coming thank on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank I'll take thank you. Thank you. Wow. I want her to pop on everybody that's not in. Okay, let's go Arizona ahead and bring out there. our next single guy. 
Hello, welcome Hola. in. What's your name? Mark. Mark, how old are you? I'm 40. And what do you do? So I work at a chiropractor. I do all the PT. So basically I'm a PT tech and I do all massage and basically like rehab therapy. Okay, and cool. Muscle, and muscle work. He got good. it, got it. And now what are some things I like to do for fun? No, I like to fish. I like to hang out outside. Honestly, I have two boys. Like I, like we like to go throw the ball, play fun. Like that. I like outdoor stuff. Okay, honestly. and uh, how old are your, your boys? So they're nine and seven. Okay, nine and seven. Uh, now, oh. yep, I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> Boom! I know, I knew it was gonna come. <laughs> All right, now what are some things <laughs> you look for in a woman? <laughs> he four. I say like, I, What's I, wrong say with I that? just don't like people to assume and say things like just be straight up. Like, okay. Honest, like, that's all it is. Got it. Now, what are some of your uh, deal breakers? Deal breakers? Like, that's my number one thing. Like, my number one thing is, like, people assuming things. Mm. Just ask me. If okay. something is, you, if you assume things, just, just be straight up. Okay. Like, hey, are you doing this? Or are you doing that? If not, like, that, that honestly breaks the deal. Okay, so. got it. So, to get a few pops, let's head Do on it. over there and see why they end up popping. I feel like we kind of have a clue, though. Oh, let's see. <laughs> He's 40. That means he had his kids in his early 30s. When someone is 40, 50, 60, are you not assuming that they have children already? Because I am. I'm assuming that. Why? Because tons of people my age is already two, three, four kids in already. Why am I expecting somebody that's 40 to not have at least one child? I'm. It's, it's always going to be some people who, who don't, of course, right? But why are we expecting? Why are we not open to the fact that people have kids by that age? Is that not normal? <laughs> All right, let's start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Katrina. I'm 46. Um, I popped my balloon for two reasons. One, I just didn't feel the um, energy was kind of off. And the ages of your children. Exactly. Cool. But other than that... You seem like to be a cool dude. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> he right, that was uh, Katrina, someone that's your type. Katrina. Yeah, she'd be cool. I'd love to hang out, do different things. Like I'm super open minded, so you know what I'm saying. Thank I, you. I, I, look, it's crazy. Like I really have no type. It's all personality, and if we connect or not. Okay. So. Thank you. Thank you. It's going over here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Janice. I'm 40. Um, I ended up popping for a couple reasons. Um, aesthetically, I don't really like the nose ring. That's not my Oh, favorite. I can't see the nose ring. Or the, the earrings. It's just, I don't want my man wear more jewelry than me, you know. No. Um, Wait. Yeah. Um, but I do love your skin complexion. He don't got more jewelry than you on, sis. You have a million bangles on your arm right here. A nose ring and earrings, that's it? Okay. And I think it's, I think you're very handsome. It's just the jewelry. Thank um, you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Also, the children. One, you know, maybe it's negotiable depending on what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. But In two, your when they're 40s. Young, no, that's not for me. I totally understand. No yeah, hard feelings. But thank but you. Totally yeah. <laughs> All right. Totally thank understand. You. Let's go on over here. Your name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? Hi, I'm Kiki. I am 52 years old. And the reason why I popped the balloon is definitely because of the kids. Uh, I am free as a bird, like Big Meech, and um, I, I like don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I can't deal with baby mamas calling and saying Daquan. You don't know his baby mamas. <laughs> you don't know if she cool. You don't know if he can have good co-parenting you don't know these things y'all assuming and he just said that's a deal breaker so i'm not even you know what you saving him the time you saving him the time and the space i can't do it baby mama you don't know what for all you know they call you don't know even know if the co-parenting goes through a third party y'all don't know none of this stuff i feel like you should ask more questions before you pop don't just assume what what's going on here has a practice or a baseball tournament and I just I'm my child is grown and gone and I just I can't I can't do it other than that um I do like the swag um and everything I get it though but realistically speaking don't you have your own life 
I'm not even trying to like really get on this, but realistically speaking, if you work a job, right? You work your own job, you got your own hobbies. I'm sure you got your own friends. What's so different when you're dating someone who every once in a while will have to go do stuff with their kids? I play sports. Did my parents go to every game? No. Was I mad they didn't go to every game? No. I was in different programs in school. Did they go to every assembly? No. It's not even realistic. They have jobs. They're not always going to be able to be there. There are other people in your family. What about grandma, auntie, uncle, cousin? No people can't go? Why are we expecting the father to be at every single game? It's not always possible. And you have your own life. So those days where you're at work and you're, not, and you're working and he not at work and he off, he not going to be able to see you and he understand that. Your kid is like an obligation just like, a job is an obligation so it's gonna be certain times where you have to tend to those things and i don't understand what's the issue with that and and the game's not even that long what hour two hours he gone they got it thing like that but i really can't do young kids also, i totally understand it's, <laughs> it's not even like that like between us like it's you stay they, they totally understand right like so okay. i'm saying like the boys say that's just one of them one of them plays sports that's it right. the other one <laughs> so you don't have to worry nice about it. But, but i totally understand so, nice I totally guy. Understand. the game so, not okay. even that long okay. so, thing, but thank bro. you though appreciate you <laughs> all right so now is she someone that's your type yeah, I'm, I'm just saying all of them are type. Like I told you, I'm super or oh, I'm super open minded. Like I told you, I really have no type. It's about connection and everything. And like you can't base something off of saw how off someone of looks. Like you know, yeah, if you we can. connect, we connect. Okay. Like that's what it is. Absolutely. And that's I mean, I'm open minded, so like I'm mean, willing to try anything. anything or talk to I anyone like that or anything because I have a big mind. I see. Okay. okay. So. All right, perfect. Thank you. Let's go on to our next lady here. Your name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? Hi, my name is Phoenix Lemon, and Hello. I popped my balloon because of the children. Um, my son is an adult, so shout out to Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why. Okay, got it. So I, mean, saying, well, I guess you. I get it, yep, but you have I nice don't. teeth. Thank you. Can't you. even lie. Like that, that's a, but like this is like honestly, me. I'm just saying like I that was my choice because like in my early twenties, like I all I did was workout and I yeah. played tournaments and I was always traveling so, so I honestly I had no intentions in being with someone because you know they're gonna take it serious they take it wrong because like I was in California Texas like I was sort of traveling all the time yeah. mm -hmm. and I played for a lot of football tournaments so like I'm gonna be I'm just keep it real with you like you call me be like hey I'm not gonna be here this weekend it ain't gonna happen like we can't hang out you know and that's and that's what it was that's the only reason why I decided to have my Boys kids later. later on yeah and i commend that no, you know, i respect I had it, my though. son at a young age and i was married young and divorced in my 30s so but he's 31 mm -hmm. and i just don't see myself with starting over exactly mm -hmm. thank you totally okay. understand <laughs> i respect that thank you right. appreciate it yeah. let's go on over here okay, <laughs> your name and age and why'd you end up popping your balloon my name is kathleen and i'm 40. I popped because, like, I was trying to fill him out, but I'm not really attracted to you. She eat him you're, up. you're handsome. I love the whole fit, and I'm all about, like, you know, you dress really nice. You dress to impress, mm -hmm. but um, you're kind of soft-spoken, and I don't like that in my man to be, like, that soft-spoken. And, like... Ma'am, what are you looking for? Who are we searching for, ma'am? You're confident, but not as confident as, like... You need to like be like confident, like powerful, like hey, I got this. Like it doesn't matter if anybody picks me. Oh, and I and, I, and all those I, I totally understand that, and no, I understand what you're saying. That's Damn. just me as a person. I'm just saying like, that's just how I am. Like mm -hmm. and I understand. Like you can't say like, I understand what you say like confident. I, I'm super confident, and I understand and everything because every day I work, I talk to new people and mm -hmm. do different stuff. So, in that sense, yeah, I understand. But like. No this is this my feelings. impression of you? No, like, no, it's, it's, my it's opinion doesn't matter. No, like, no, it's exactly. My like I told you, hey, he not tripping. For yeah. yeah, so it's all good. Appreciate he you. Not Thank you as well. We don't care. <laughs> all Move right, on. let's head <laughs> on back. So we do have three balloons left mm -hmm. unpopped. Go ahead and ask these remaining ladies a question. Help you narrow it down. See who's more of your vibe. Just one of my questions, like I was wondering, I was like, if. I was asked you guys like, what is like your main 
Like, what are you grateful for? Okay, what are you grateful for? Your name and age, and what are you grateful for? My name is Risa, I'm 43, and I'm grateful to be here. Uh, every day is a blessing. Every day I wake up is a blessing. Amen. Um, I have two beautiful children. They are 15 years old. Um, I teens. have people that I love that surround me every day, and I'm just grateful for where I am in life because I've worked hard to be where I'm at, so I'm grateful for that. That's what's up. Cool. Let's go down here. All right, your name and age, and what are you grateful for? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Regina. 37. I am grateful for a life. Um, and then I am also grateful for pouring into others as well. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I like that. Name and age, and what are you grateful for? I'm Tina, and I'm 42, and I am definitely grateful for my boys. I have two boys, 23 and 20, and I believe that without them, I don't think my life would be what it is right now. So I am truly grateful for my boys. Okay, so it is now time for you to actually pop. So I'm going to hand you a pick. Mm -hmm. Let me have you hang on to that. And based off of the responses you, you've heard, the vibes, you know, I know you said you're an energy guy, yeah. whatever it is yeah. that it is that you picked up when speaking to them, go ahead and pop one of their balloons. He posted it. I mean, yeah, I have to post pop it. <laughs> All right. So you had your Did balloon unpopped for him. Kids? Why so? Oh, he's attractive. I liked his answers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and now why did we end up popping hers? This is like, I was just like, I'm just, I'm super family orientated. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm invested in my boys. Like, that's all I really focus on right now. Right now. That's Work all? My boy. Your boys? No, my boys and family. And then okay. if I have something else, like, it, you know, I can get invested in it because, like, that's just the type of person I am. Okay. So. I respect it. Yeah, they named family. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> okay, hey, children, let's go so. ahead and ask our two remaining ladies another question. Matching his energy. My I last guess. question is, like, I, I, I don't know. People take it the wrong way. I can say it. Like, what is your biggest flaw? Okay, so back to back saying, what is your biggest flaw about like personally, not about a relationship? Okay, so like just within themselves, just within not themselves. when they're with someone or nothing. Exactly. Like okay. Exactly. All right. Start right here. <laughs> I'm brutally honest, um, and it doesn't always feel good, and mm. I don't mean it in a disrespectful way, and I'm learning on how to uh, speak when I need to, when necessary, but I think. Um, because of <laughs> some of the reactions I, I have received in the past that nobody all and everybody's not um, comfortable with being honest and I I don't think it got nothing to do with you being honest I think it's probably the way you be saying stuff like somebody could smell bad and be like damn you stink versus hey friend um did you take a shower today or like it, I Maybe not even what I said. It's just more so how you say things. You could be honest. I don't think it's nothing wrong with being honest. I'm honest. It's it's cool to be honest. But sometimes when I say stuff, it's about when I said it. It's about how I said it. The timing of what was said. All of that matters. It's not about you being honest. Like You just have to take other people into account when you're saying things. And maybe convey it different. Like yeah no and i and i'm gonna and i'm gonna keep it real yeah and that, and then that sense like a lot of people can't take the hard truth for real thing it's not you're being rude or you're being honest some people you tell people something and they take it the completely wrong way mm -hmm. and a lot of people can't handle that and i totally understand and respect that yeah are you honest 100 percent. okay <laughs> all right thank you let's go down there <laughs> all right the answer to this question so I feel as though for myself, my biggest flaw is that I can be too hard on myself at times. And that could be dealing with any situation that could be dealing with work, that could be dealing with school, that could be dealing with my children, that could be dealing with family or friends, you know, or relationships. It's just me, you know, um, reevaluating myself and looking at myself. And I can be a little hard on myself. And I've been told that. Um, but yeah, I can definitely be hard on myself and I feel as though that that is a flaw of mine. Okay. All right. 
We'll put them back. Pop we did get a pop back here. Yep. All right. Why do we end up popping? Um. I just didn't feel the connection. Um, and not to say that there has to be a mutual connection right off bat, but I, I'm already when I meet someone and because of how closed off and reserved I am, I'm already like ten steps ahead. So I have to see us in the future. So that's all. Okay. Facts. Totally understand. All right. So now, is she someone that's your type? I know you said all this other oh, stuff. Yeah, it's but... exactly for height and everything. Like I like. Oh, you like my height? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Too late. So. Too late. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, so let me have you come on up here. I'll have you scoot that way for me. <laughs> all right any final questions between the two of you to determine if this is a match um so i have two boys myself and they're older um i don't have an issue with a with anyone who has children because i have my own um as far as age that is a huge age gap um mm. from the age of my children so as far as like do you have any issues as far as like say if i called you up and i'm like hey you know you feel like going out this weekend you know we got something going on or whatever the case may be would that be an issue with you as far as your children it's, like it's, is is is, th is there conflict there when it comes to something like that it, it's not an issue it's, okay it, it would be all good okay I, i'm pretty open honestly real talk okay awesome so. awesome good <laughs> okay. all right well i have a final question Shoot it. Shoot it. <laughs> is shoot it a it. yes for you for him? It would be a yes. Okay. Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Sure. Ah, oh, uh, we got a match. <laughs> All right. I will take this mic. And you guys very can go weary on of this Let's couple. make some noise for them. Gonna make it. Yes! Not that I don't want well for them, but I don't know. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name is Dwyer Williams. Dwyer, how old are you? I'm 41. And what do you do? I'm an investor, model slash actor. Okay, all right. I don't now, like what pants. are some things you like to do for fun? I, I love the gym. I play basketball, I play soccer, I'm a swimmer. Okay. And, um, I like to be... Active. Fun person. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a woman? I love a passionate woman, a okay. woman that love, you know, a woman that care about herself, you know, and look forward to, to expand that into a relationship with a guy. Mm, okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? <laughs> somebody that smoke, mm. you know, somebody that um, not family oriented, mm -hmm. you know, somebody that all about themselves and discourage other people. Okay. I wonder where he from. Right. So we did get uh, a few pop balloons. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up popping. Let's start here with your name and age. My name is Risa, I'm 43. And then Risa, why did you end up popping your balloon? I don't want to date a model, actor, such. I don't want to deal with all that. Okay. I just don't. What do you mean by that? <laughs> mm -mm. Now, have you dated one in the past and that's where you're getting that from or it's just like? It has nothing to do with the past. It's just where I'm going forward. What and I want say? more of a chill, laid back, like go to the countryside, maybe have a child or two and sit back and chill out. I don't okay. want all that kiss and glam. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to chill. <laughs> now, is she someone that's your type? I would say she's a little bit too tall. It's okay. You know, but she's, she's very attractive though, you know. Thank well, you. Well, you said countryside. What do you mean countryside? <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost ready to like get outside of like really outside of the city. Like right. I'm kind of over the city life. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. Wrong with that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we did get another one down there. All right. Your name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? My name is Kathleen, and I'm 40. And the only reason I popped is because you said um, you don't like people that smoke, and I just started smoking like not cigarettes. So, yeah. Okay. It's it's medicinal because um, a few of the injuries that I endured in the military, I'm in pain every day. So when I smoke, it helps. It's just a help. Yeah, but I'm not going to force you to like a smoker. Right. Okay. <laughs> so obviously, you know, she has one of your deal breakers, but is she someone that's your type? 
Not really. Okay, uh, why not? I don't like the pierced nose stuff. Oh. And I'm, okay. I'm nothing wrong um, with that person, person, though. It's just my preference. Okay. Can I say something about my piercing? Mm -hmm. um, everything I put on my, due to my body, I look it up. So in the past, like kings and queens used to have this piercing because it's, it's your connection, higher connection to the divine. And I'm a, extremely spiritual. So I feel like it, it helps with my connection, not mm -hmm. just because it looks pretty. Gotcha. Okay, right still now. All right. All right. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> and Reasoning we got matter. a pop back here. Let's head on back. Your name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? I'm Katrina, and I'm 46. Um, you got to You're cool. Um, the only reason why I popped my balloon, I just didn't get the chemistry. Yeah. But okay. you seem like you're a cool guy. Um, not what in person. What are looking for? I mean, the energy, I just didn't feel it. I wanted to give you a chance to talk, so I'll let you talk, but I just, I didn't get that connection. So that's the only reason why. That's what's up. Okay. <laughs> now, she's someone that's your type? I would say yes, based on the shape. Thank you. And, um, but for the, uh, I don't really like that. What? The eyelashes? The lashes? Oh. I mean, not too much. It's It can be, it can be eye, but, moderate you know what i mean not wrong with a little bit but not excessive thank you, know you. I mean? but it's good okay. appreciate it <laughs> thank you she said that lash all right mask let's give it over wide. here so we do have four balloons left unpopped go ahead and ask these remaining ladies a question to help you narrow it down all right ladies what you learned from your last relationship that you will not bring into your next relationship mm. So what did you learn in your last relationship that you're not bringing into what your new pop relationship? For? You seem ready. Good question. Let's go over here. <laughs> name and age and answer to this question. Hi, my name is Phoenix. Um, the answer to your question, I wouldn't bring codependency into the relationship. My previous relationship, I was a little bit too clingy. Um, I was also younger as well. So just learning to move beyond that and to recognize that we're still indi individuals and that we still have our own space and how important space is in a relationship. That's, that's I like that important. answer. Mm -hmm. Very. Okay. Thank you. Name and age and answer this question. Hi, I'm Kiki. I am 52 years old. And what I wouldn't bring in... Uh, new relationship is uh, I, uh, listening skills. Um, I am definitely a person who likes a leader and um, I like to listen uh, a lot more than I listened in my last relationship. Mm -hmm. So I, the submissiveness can be very, very uh, prevalent. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And now we did get a pop here. Your name and age and why'd you end up popping? Hi, I'm Janice. I'm 40. Um, I ended up popping. It was just the question. Oh, yeah. I feel like relationship questions should be a conversation between the two people and not something that's like aired out in public. But other than that, I feel like you're very Girl, attractive. that was a good question. Um, I'm not mad at the career. I was a former model. So like, I get it. Um, and I travel for work, so that's not really a deal breaker, but it was just like the line of questions. I would have preferred to get a question that was more about me as an individual mm -hmm. instead of like something that were pertained to a prior situation. Okay. That is yeah. about you as an but individual. Was it. Got it. Respectful. Yes. <laughs> what did you do? And now she's someone that's your type? That you wouldn't do Definitely. to him. Yeah. And then we did get two more pops down here. All right, where did we end up popping? Um, I just get Playboy vibes, and my <laughs> ex was a athlete, so I just get, I just get that. Oh, yeah. I wanted to kind of be transparent with my answer and kind of fill you out a little bit, but I definitely get that. And your accent, all right, is you got French? Comment Jamaican. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all. All right. So she said you got Playboy vibes, player vibes. I'm a basketball player. Oh. She did say she dated an athlete. <laughs> so you're like, it's like the same kind of vibe you're getting. Yeah, okay. same energy. All right. So now she's someone that's your type? Nah. Okay. Why not? The tattoos and the acting, mm. yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then they need to pop here. Name and age and why you end up popping. Yes. I'm Regina, 37. You're handsome, 
but you didn't give me any eye contact and yeah. you kept licking your side <laughs> your tongue out your, I don't know what that was but to all the other ladies uh, I just was like okay well I guess I'm not his cup of tea which is not a problem I promise um, but yeah that's all okay. that's what's up Mm -hmm. that. So now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like it light skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's probably why he didn't want to lock eye contact. Oh, he was gonna get trapped, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So why did we end up popping? Yeah. So I just came back from Jamaica, Ochos Rios. Ochos Rios. Montego Bay Montego and the Grill. And uh, I got my way around the island, and um, it just seems like a little bit of a, a, a playboy. Like, really? uh, you know, Jamaican men, you know, by nature, they have a Girl, lot of ladies. Real. They love uh -oh. the ladies. And um, uh -oh. just because of what they do in Jamaica, you're not going to get this man a chance. He might like you. He might not even be a player the whole time. He might be nervous, and that's why he's doing what he's doing. He could be nervous right now. I, I don't like when people make these... Um, assumptions just because of what people are you know like just because i'm a black woman doesn't mean i'm i'm a act a certain way that you didn't see people in social media that don't make me that way like just because somebody a korean woman don't make them a certain way or a mexican woman like that that don't that that doesn't that doesn't express how a person is just because you've seen a few people or you didn't meet the whole you didn't meet every Jamaican <laughs> y'all blocking y'all y'all blocking y'all blessings right now for for nonsense this is nonsense <laughs> so uh yeah <laughs> so for a serious relationship no but you know, for a friendship, yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe his son's okay. stuck in his teeth. Right. I don't know. But, yeah. Okay. You know, trying to no, get no. up. Yeah. Trying to <laughs> Is get she out. someone that's your know. type? Yeah. Maybe he got some okay, stuff up not? there. I like them light skin. <laughs> <laughs> like for real. You like a light skin guy. <laughs> I like them light skin. I like though. it. Yeah. Just the honesty. Everybody's yeah, perfect. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> not yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she did not eat. All right. Well, Dwyer, that is all of the balloons pop. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank you all. Take the mic. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. y'all. That's the end of the video. We did not get that many matches. Um, We're going to read three comments. And I'm sorry I was late on this upload, y'all. Oh, I'm so sorry. Life. Life be life and sometimes. The first lady was doing great until that bud bubbly guy asked her about her childhood and upbringing. I think that may have triggered or sparked something within her because from that point forward, when they asked her a question, her way of answering was very childlike. She has a lot of things to work on, in my opinion. I think it could have been triggering, absolutely. But at the same time, you, I don't. It's a way that you can answer a question without answering a question, if that makes sense. Like with you having a bad upbringing. You could be like, yeah, I had a bad upbringing, so it's very personal, so it's not something that I would like to answer. However, I know going forward, I would like give my children or future children or my future husband, I would love to have a better family dynamic that was way better than what I had or something. You know, I just think it's a way. Um, I like the tall girl and even a little empathetic for her in the beginning, but as the show went on, I started to understand why she was single. I'm not I'm not fighting that comment at all. The 37-year-old cracked me up. What is your purpose in life? Well, I do believe in world peace. Sis, this is not Miss World. Oh, my God. Some stuff just don't be making sense. I'm not even really sure how to explain it. Um, Laura, please don't let me be like this in my 40s and 50s. Saying, let this love never find me life don't, don't let this life never find me short guy with dreads nine plus nine times nine it's not a critical thinking question it is pure mathematics i don't disagree with this but 
when you that old, I don't understand why you can't answer something that simple. Yeah, it's simple arithmetic, somebody said. Yeah, it's, that math is beyond simple. You, you, you learn that. Yeah, I don't, it, it didn't make sense to me. Let's see. If you're married, go home tonight and hug your partner tight. This isn't it. Huh? Bookmark this video for every time you and your spouse falls out. Facts. I, I, I hope this single type, this type of single don't ever reach me. I, I want to fill in some of the stuff I heard. Anyone else love reason? Yes, sir. I'm reading them right now. I'm reading them right now. <laughs> Let's read two more. Never heard of a septum ring being spiritual. LOL. Humans were always coming up with new ways to confuse ourselves. I never heard of that even. I ain't even gonna lie. She lost me. I, I, I don't even know if it's anywhere in the Bible that say something like that. Like I was raised Christian and, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know nothing about that. I don't have it. I don't know nothing about that. Uh, uh, not gonna lie. This show is my guilty pleasure. Yeah. Same. I love watching it. I said it, I was going to do two more, but I'm gonna do one more after that because, uh, I want them to refer to the episode. Let's see. Purple dress was struggling to answer every question. Like, what is you talking about? No lie. Every time she answered, I was confused. It, she, it was like she was running around what they were saying versus just getting straight to the point. I don't even know what the reason be. It's no reason to over explain things. Like just jump, just jump into it. Like if some, what's your favorite color? I feel like she'd be like, well, there's tons of colors in a rainbow and, the rainbow has so many colors, like, it's amazing how many colors the rainbow has, which draws me to your answer. What's my favorite color? Hmm, maybe a vibrant purple, which is actually a purple that's a light purple. You know, like, what would be the reason for real? You never had to say all that, but okay. Anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all for coming. We will have more bangers for show sure coming soon, so keep tuning in. Y'all keep on dropping by. We're gonna bring y'all some more for show, sure, so make sure y'all comment some more stuff that i need to react to as well I, I love to pop the balloon videos but it's also okay to send me other things to watch because i'll watch it but yeah y'all peace